Hey guys, Ali here from Local Knowledge. Today, what I wanna to talk to you about is one of the biggest questions that we get in both the comments on these videos and also in our forums. And that's, how are you rigging for Bluefin? What lines, what weight, for what situation? All the details on the rod you can find in the description of the video. We'll have model numbers and everything for you on all this stuff. So the first setup that we always have on board, and I say it like it's only one, there's usually four or five of these on the boat when we leave the dock. Everybody's got a jig stick. Some people have multiple jig sticks, not pointing fingers, me. So I have jig sticks for different situations. This is kind of my medium weight all around. This is a pen 25 narrow torque reel. This is my go-to for throwing jigs. Free spools like a mother, very narrow. I love narrow reels, easier to put the line on without winding it, doesn't wobble as much. And this thing's a little workhorse. We've caught fish on this jig stick set up over 150 pounds. It's definitely a little painful because you're using a lighter rod, but it works. As far as line goes on this setup, I always am gonna try to get away with the heaviest leader I can. And in the case of throwing a lure, I can get away with a really heavy leader because a fish doesn't have time to look at it. This is gonna have 65 pound thread lock braid on it. This is the best casting braid I've ever used. It has more carriers, which is more threads in it. It behaves different than most braid and the way it's woven, it makes it really wanna jump off the spool, kind of like mono. If you're afraid of casting braid, get over it. This is really the best way to go. You just need to train your thumb a little bit differently but if you can get yourself to cast braid with a short leader, you're gonna get longer casts, you're gonna have a better connection to that fish with less stretch, and you're gonna get your bait to work a little bit better because it's not dragging so much heavy line. To that, I'm gonna attach 80 pound Seaguar Premier. This is my go-to when throwing lures for bigger fish. If we were talking about local yellowtail or something else, I'm gonna fish 40, but if I'm throwing lures for bluefin, I know there's even a chance of a 100 pound fish in there, I'm gonna use at least 60 and probably 80 as long as I feel like I can get away with it. In terms of lures, it's either a popper like this or a mad scad. The popper, because I can leave it out there, I'll cast it out, I'll pop it a few times, it'll sit there and float. A lot of times I'll let it sit for 20 seconds, pop it one more time and it gets creamed. And then I also like the mad scad as well. I just feel like it has so much action, it skirts right below the surface. A lot of times the fish just can't say no to these. Okay, so the second setup that we always have on board when we're bluefin fishing is something in this size class. This reel for me has become a favorite in just the last couple of years. This is a Penn Fathom 40 narrow lever drag. I love narrow reels. As long as they hold enough line, I always want the narrow over the wide. It's just easier to put the line back on because you don't have such a wide reel, there's not the leverage to make this thing wobble. And this is on a Pen Ally rod. This rod, in my opinion, this Pen Ally is the best bargain in big fish fishing period. When you made it up with a single speed fathom, I mean, you're talking about, you're out the door for 300 something bucks. And this setup right here has and will absolutely kill a bluefin up to 200 pounds. What I'm using this setup for, bigger fish around, 50 to 180s, 50 to 150s, this is gonna be my go-to bait rig. The sun starts to go down that night and we're still out on the grounds. It's a great time to do some flat fall style jigging. Nomad Buffalo jig. I definitely want to glow in the dark. You can see this one has some pink in it, which mimics a squid, which is what those fish are feeding on out by San Clemente. Depending on the size of the fish and the mood they're in, I'm gonna use either 40, 60, or 80. If they're picky, I'm fishing 40. If they're okay, I'm gonna eat 60, and I probably will start with 60 to kind of figure out what they're into that day. And if they're just chewing the paint off the boat, I'm gonna fish 80 pound every single time. Just gives me that assurance that I'm not gonna get chewed off. When I'm fishing that medium sized fish, you know, the, the 60 to say 150 fish, this reel is definitely the go-to, but the rod will handle a lot more than that. In fact, we've caught, shoot, yellowfin on these up to like 200 pounds. The, the only change that I'm gonna make in this setup is if I really know the bigger fish are around, those 200 to 300 pound fish, or if they're even mixed in, I'm gonna ditch the 40 and I'm gonna step up into the big leagues. And this is a Pen 16. This is a great, great reel. I put 80 pound on it. You could probably fish 100 on it, no problem, or 130. 
The reason I like the 80 pound on this, it's a little bit better to make the bait swim, but primarily it gives me a lot of capacity on this bigger reel. You can catch on this 16, if you're bait fishing from a smaller boat like we fish from, you can catch fish over 250 pounds on this thing, no problem. The third setup that we always have on the boat when we leave the dock is this one right here in my hand. This one here, it's a Pen 20, which is essentially, again, you're gonna see a theme here, a narrow version of a 30. Same gearing, same drag, same everything. It's just a smaller, narrower package that's easier to hold in your hand when you're fishing a bunch. And then this is paired up with an international rod. This is a Pen International that they build here in the United States. These things are glass, they're tough as nails, and they've got some great actions for fishing bluefin. This setup here is kind of our multi-purpose. If there's bigger fish around, it's getting dark, this is gonna be my flat fall rig. And when I say bigger, I mean potential to have fish over 200. These bluefin really change in the high 100s to the low 200s. They get so much harder to land, they pull so much harder once they get over 200. And even those high twos fish, I mean, those things can really pull. That's where you're gonna to wanna to have the added line capacity of a real 20 like this. I put thread lock on this. I put 100 pound on here, 100 pound hollow again. As you can see, I've already got a loop in this thing so I can slip on a wind on or you know slip on a nomad or do whatever. As far as leaders go with this setup, that's gonna change based upon what we're doing. If I'm gonna be flat falling at night, I can get away with a heavier leader again. Anytime I have that opportunity, I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna put a, a flat fall on here with probably 130, and if I feel like I can get away with it on a heavier jig like this, I'll even go 200. For bait fishing away from the boat, I'm probably still gonna stick with 80 on here. 80 pound leader, if you're fishing a big bait, is about as heavy as you wanna go and still have some good action to it. This thing also, in a pinch, if we need another kite reel, something gets fouled up in our main rig or got something to go. This has enough line capacity as long as we keep the kite somewhat close to the boat to just quickly snap in a kite bait rig and roll. It really is the workhorse of the fleet. We can troll with this if we're gonna be trolling, which we don't do a lot for bluefin, but we certainly do for a lot of other species. The applications for this one are almost endless. This is the fourth setup that we always have on the boat when we're talking about these bigger bluefin that we've been blessed with over the last few years. This particular setup has caught a lot of bluefin. We've had zero issues with it. As far as service goes, I'm not the best. I rinse them off, I wipe them down. We've got many, many seasons on this setup without so much as a hiccup. So what we have here is a Pen 50 VISX. And what the 50 VISX means, the X on that model indicates Again, it's narrow. Do you see a theme here? Really like the narrow reels, especially in a situation like this where this is gonna be flying the kite off the side of the boat. I gotta take up a lot of line as soon as that fish bites really fast. And when I say I, I mean the angler that I'm screaming at telling him to reel it in. A lot more fun that way. So you really want the ability to pack the line on here quick without having to worry about it coming over the frame or anything like that or getting bound up. And the 50 VI sex lets me do that. I also like the topless feature. The reason I like the topless feature when I'm fishing a bait on the kite is with the dead bait, a lot of times I'm doing some maneuvering, like the wind will gust up a little bit and I can just put this in free spool and I can easily manipulate the spool to let out a little bit more line or just a couple of swipes to take in a little bit of line. As far as line goes on here, I'm gonna fish 130 pound. This is 130 pound thread lock braid. It's got a loop served in the end of it so that I can do a loop-to-loop -loop connection to my big, heavy wind-on leader. Because we primarily fish this setup on the kite almost exclusively, I'm gonna fish 300 pound. A lot of guys are fishing 130, a lot of guys are fishing 150 or 200, and a lot of guys are spending a lot of hours pulling on these fish. We do not on our boat. Our whole thing is get them, get a good hook set in them, and put a lot of pressure to them and keep that heat on them. And that's what gets those fish corkscrewing up to the boat. So these are the four setups that I absolutely won't leave the dock without. A lot of times I have two or more of each one of these setups for having multiple anglers, for having a backup, you know, in a furious bite, I don't want to retie. 
These are the lines I use. These are the lures we use. We've been very successful with them. And at the end of the day, we're confident. And for me, confidence is everything. I really try to take the time to get rid of those little problems that people lose fish to. I hope these tips work well for you. You know, if you still have questions, we monitor the comments very closely. Let us know what questions we missed. You've got a specific question, we'll do our best to answer it. If you like this video, please give the video a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.